the healthcare industry is constantly evolving. New issues, new policies, new technologies. Gone are the days where doctors' offices were cluttered with hundreds of patient files and medical textbooks. The inefficiency of the system has been realized. New technologies are allowing for a more streamlined information storage and sharing system. Smart devices are integral parts of the healthcare industry. These technologies are changing how everything works, or at least they should be. According to Information Week, as of 2012, 80% of medical offices are still using paper records. This is not due to any lack of technology. Three quarters of those who responded to the survey said that their organization had capable technology to record patient records. So although 46% of those offices had the capable technology, only 26% were actually using it. Despite the benefits of using technology in the industry, physicians are reluctant to adopt. The extra hassle of adapting their office, their staff, and even themselves to a new technology system makes it seem as though it is not worth it. The extra effort implementing a system is worth it to create a more efficient environment. Now, most doctors have taken to using smart technology, like tablets and mobile devices. In 2012, over 80% of all doctors now carry smartphones. This allows for portable information that can help them treat their patients more efficiently. But this is only the first step. Technological advancements have paved the way for doctors to spend more time doing what they love, helping patients. Devices like voice-activated electronic medical record systems have been helping doctors do their jobs more efficiently, with more speed and accuracy. There are tremendous benefits to mobile technology in this industry. Not only physical and intellectual benefits, but also social. The most poignant social impact being communication. The quality of healthcare can improve immensely when patients and doctors can communicate more efficiently. Doctors benefit from this as well. These technologies allow them access to a plethora of information anywhere, at the touch of a screen, better access to patient information, and improved communication. Improved communication is essential to improved health care. An open communication line means that doctors are able to get more information to their patients and therefore are able to treat them better. Doctors can communicate with each other to help provide their patients with the best possible health plans and outcomes. A better line of communication means better patient care. With technology, patients now have the opportunity to take control of their health care unlike ever before. They are able to track their health easier while feeling more secure about the care and the information they are receiving. Patients are more likely to question aspects of their health care that they would not have before. They are becoming more proactive. This leads to patient empowerment. The power of the internet is the power of the patient, who can research treatments, compare physicians, and collaborate with doctors who may not always have the time or budget to conduct the kind of in-depth research their patients can and will, because frankly, they're damn motivated. There's nothing like learning the horizon of your life has been foreshortened to push you into the internet rabbit hole of research. The patient is able to be their own advocate, which is something seemingly impossible before technology. There is no denying that there has been a huge growth in technology and that it is now being adapted to work in the healthcare industry. Due to other concerns and issues, technology is not being as effective as it could be. A major concern is privacy. People are worried that their information will be farmed and sold as big data. How safe is the information? Who will have access to it? Can my information be stolen or sold? This issue of privacy is a major reason why technology has not had success in this industry. If no solution is implemented, people are less likely to adopt the computerization of their information. Something needs to be done. It has been shown that medicine is evolving towards a full embrace of digital technology, but the slow adoption rate is worrisome. Is it the doctors themselves? Is it the types of systems available? The lack of infrastructure? There is no blaming one aspect. Technology is not going away, and the inefficiencies of paper-based systems are only going to be more prominent. Adopting a social approach to creating an information system would do wonders for the healthcare industry. If more efficient technologies were adopted, who knows what kind of social impact it would have.